I'm Jamie. Sometimes I think the fine print can be a little bit confusing, so I'm here to present it to you in a little bit different way. Video. If you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about when I say Buy Nothing Project, well, here's your first step. Finding your group. Find your local Buy Nothing group by searching Buy Nothing, name of your city, in the search bar. Or maybe your city hasn't started one yet. In that case, I hope this gives you a wee bit of courage to maybe start one of your own. What is the Buy Nothing Project? The Buy Nothing Project in your local Buy Nothing page is unlike any other free site that you've been a part of. At first, there's going to be a lot of unwritten rules that could easily have you confused about how all this stuff works. Such as, what is a gift? Why is this guy speaking in complete sentences? Why not just use abbreviations? Why is there a post based solely on gratitude? This group is weird. Here at the Buy Nothing Project, we want you to keep a couple things in mind. The fine print, if you will. One, remember our mission. We offer people a way to give, receive, share, lend, and express gratitude in a worldwide network of hyper-local gift economies. You are free to post anything you want to give away, lend, or share amongst your neighbors. And please don't hesitate to ask for anything that you'd like to receive for free or to borrow. It's also encouraged to express gratitude whenever you feel grateful for anything in the group. The only discussions allowed in our groups are those related to the gift economy and the Buy Nothing Project. This is not a group to post personal status updates, community announcements, lost and found pets, referrals to outside sources, even charitable ones. Two. Keep it legal. We follow national, regional, and local laws, as well as Facebook community guidelines. Three, keep it civil. Nothing doesn't have any requirements about philosophy, religion, politics, and all the rest. Please refrain from personal slurs or insults or any sort of hate speech. Four, respect your neighbors and their property. Never take anything from your neighbor's house without their permission. And please don't use this site to recruit people to join your religion or any organization. Five, give freely. Buy nothing groups, there is no buying, selling, bartering, or trading. All gifts are given and received without any strings attached. Oh, here's a string attached. Six, participate as yourself. Use your personal Facebook account and not your business. You're welcome to share or request goods or services for your business or charity, as long as those offers or requests are not presented as a way of spreading the word about your organization. And the great thing is, once you start feeling the joy that the Buy Nothing group brings, you're gonna wanna join every group there is. But please refrain from doing so. You may only join one group and it must be the group where you live. Give where you live. Give where you live. Not where you work, volunteer, or hang out the most. Seven, give from your own abundance. Please resist the urge to post referrals or recommendations of any kind of where a member can buy something. As a caveat, if you have information that you think may help a member, ask if you can send them a private information telling them so. Eight, buy and sell nothing, not a zip. This is not a place to post anything related to the market economy, real estate, ads, items that are for sale, for things that you'd like to buy. Nine, ask and give creatively. So our focus is on freely gifted goods or services. So this doesn't include requests for monetary assistance and loans, cash, donations. Instead of asking for the money that to buy what you may need, simply ask for what you need. Now that I've walked you through the fine print, let's talk about some basic guidelines of the project. One, always label your posts. And there are three categories which every post should fall under. Gifts, asks, and gratitude. So with that being said, let's talk a little bit about each category and we'll just kinda break it down if you will. Gifts, I mean, who doesn't wanna talk about gifts? The array of tangible items that can be gifted is 40 miles long. 
unused coffee filters, CD players, cars, beds, a gently used bag of 3T girl clothing, potato peelings in case a neighbor has chickens. I really could go on forever with this one because in reality, when you think of the quote, one man's trash is another man's treasure, well, anything can be a gift. Couple things to remember when gifting your material items. One, communicate clearly. Maybe it's a little stain, maybe there's a wheel missing, or it has a hole in the armpit the size of Texas. Two, please refrain from telling the community how much it costs. We view all gifts as equal, so sharing their monetary value, eh. And when we think about gifts, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Material items, right? Wait, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. I have three other types of gifts that you can give. One, gift of self. This is something that one member can do for another. So maybe offering an evening of babysitting, a ride for an errand, help in the garden. Two, gift of talent. A gift of talent is anything that one member can teach another member to do. This could be cooking or canning classes, computer lessons, crocheting classes, anything that you would like to teach. And last but not least, thirdly, the gift of time. A gift of time refers to offering to spend time with a neighbor, maybe going for a walk, meeting for a play date or coffee or tea. Now that we've gone through some of the main types of gifts, I wanna to touch on some creative ways that the giver can give. Gifting in the Buy Nothing Project is always at the discretion of the gifter, the giver. This means that the person giving gets to decide how, what, when, where, why, or whom they'd like to give to. For instance, if you can't stand seeing that item in your house for one more minute, you can do what's called a flash gift, kind of what you would think of as first come first serve type gift. But not knowing that everyone can check their Facebook every second, you might wanna do what we really encourage with gifts. Let it simmer. Simmer. Simmer! Meaning, let the post sit for a while before you pick someone. Well, how do I pick who gets a gift, Jamie? Consider asking for a story, a joke, a favorite drink, maybe just doing a random number generator. The next type of post is labeled ask. This can be compared to an ISO, in search of, and other type groups. So what are you saying, Jamie? I can't write ISO or any other forms of abbreviations? WTH, man? The goal of the Buy Nothing community is to foster, well, community. So let's play out a scene here. You knock on your neighbor's door, and then when they answer, you yell, ISO sugar! We would all think that was kind of wackadoodle if someone did that on our doorstep, am I right? So that's why telling a little story about your ask, instead of just writing ISO sugar, fosters community. I will admit there were times where I was frustrated with everything and the fine print, all the rules, but what you get out of the Buy Nothing community is so much more than that. And, la and the last type of post, but certainly not the least, gratitude. And just like we practice for games, upcoming events, or a speech, gratitude is also a practice. It may not come natural at first when you first post a gratitude, but once you start doing it more and more, it gets more comfortable and you get to know your neighbors more. But for everything that this Buy Nothing project has given me, as in meeting hundreds of my neighbors, being thankful for those around me, my life has been forever changed. So I hope these guidelines help you out a bit. <laughs>